Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today with me, I have Dean. Yes, sir, Steve. Today we gotta find Dean some love. So with us, we got five ladies. And today we blind ranking them based on their outfits. So Dean, are you ready to find the love of your life, my bro? I just look at the Crocs, yeah. <laughs> this is the no comment on the Crocs. But in any way, we're gonna be upstairs reacting to Dean. So I'm gonna head on over that side. Dean's gonna carry on finding the love of his life. There might be a twist. You're just gonna wait and see. Have to wait and see. You're gonna have to just wait and see. Wait and see, family. Good luck, bro. Thank you. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna head up to my crew. My crew? Yeah, it's your crew. Cool. Oh yeah, sorry. Wait. We'll be deciding throughout each round who the love of your life will be for you. Okay, bye now. <laughs> we really love it, thank you so much. <laughs> Cool, right, let's get started with round one. All right, boys, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? You gotta ask them their names and stuff, boots. Oh yeah, fair enough. All right, so we'll start with number one. We're just gonna call you number one for now. Hi, hello. Can hello. you maybe introduce yourself, your name, your age, maybe where you're from? So, my name is Jenna. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Cape Town, living in gardens. Okay. I expired. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, dude. Anyway, number two. I'm Jodie, I'm 18 and I'm staying in Durbanville. Durbanville, nice, okay. Hi, I'm Yuan I'm 20 and I also stay in Durbanville. Nice, okay. <laughs> Crocs, Crocs lady. <laughs> Croc a lot. <laughs> love it, love it. What is your name? I'm Yana, I'm 24 and I'm also a Durbanville girly. Okay, wow, a lot of Durbanville ladies out here. Okay, nice. The last one? Um, I'm gonna keep my name a secret, because I feel like it. And I'm 23 and I live in Cape Town. Matthew's gonna fuck me up after this one. Uh, <laughs> Betty's coming for you, boys. Yes, she sounds almost like Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hold up, hold up. Anyway, anyway, let's just move past that idea. We might know that, we might know the story, okay. <laughs> I'll ask number one another question, bro. Number one, so, I like intellectual women, all right? It's a thing, we gotta have a conversation, you know? It, 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 we have to have something to compensate. First tell them you don't have a matric though. <laughs> Even though I don't have a matric, but, uh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so number one, I have a question to ask you. Okay. What do you think bed bugs did before beds were invented? <laughs> they were mat bugs. They were? Mat bugs. Mat bugs, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, number two, why can you drink a drink? but you can't food a food. You have hands. You have hands? Yeah, yeah, that sounds reasonable F. All right, number three. James Bond is the world's famous spy. Doesn't that make him the worst spy? What's he asking? What did you say? I suppose it should, yes. But also then it's just a movie, so. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Don't you want to ask them like what they do for a living? Or <laughs> do, you, do you work yet? Well, that's all the questions I had, guys. So anyway, we're going to start by asking you guys, <laughs> the lady with the Crocs, we just got to ask you, what do you do for a living? I work at a veterinary clinic. A veterinary clinic. All right. So you got that dog in you. Okay. Nice. But ask number four if the Crocs are in sport mode. <laughs> <laughs> are you able to put the Crocs in 4x4 four four mode? They are in sports mode. Oh, they are. Okay, nice. You're ready it's to not get four down. By four, okay, it's I see how it mode. is. Damn. I'm always ready. Did you say they're ready? I'm very oh, intrigued on who the first person is. Let's go in, investigate. Yeah, no, I'm super intrigued about this fifth person. I'm super intrigued. <laughs> sounds familiar, the voice, doesn't it? Yeah, she, 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 she sounds super known around these areas. Let's ask her where she works. Just where do you work? Ah, uh, here and there. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally, yeah, but literally, yeah, she works here. <laughs> literally, here. <yeah. laughs> and over there, right over there. Yes. But chosen ones on budget, but we need to use our people. <laughs> yeah, chosen ones on budget, eh, boys? <laughs> Shit. This is what happens, right? I, I don't know what you're talking about, personally. It's pretty presumptuous of you to assume where I work. Okay, so, well, that's for round one, guys. Thank you guys for your answers. We appreciate the communication. I feel like we've started the first step, right? Okay. So now it's time to, uh, we have to say goodbye to one person. Dean, why do you keep looking at the gold across? Are you trying to hit for us? 
Oh, uh, I'm thinking number five, she was dodgy. Yeah, let's take number five let's out. Let's take number five out. Which she's got a boyfriend. Yeah, number five just seems off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, she seems a bit, uh, she might have a boyfriend. We don't know. <laughs> Tell her that um, you're hitting too close to home, yeah? So you gotta go. Number five, we love and appreciate you. And we pay your salary. <laughs> oh, no way! Is this is Zoe from the chosen ones? No fucking way! The first person didn't come. I'm sorry, bro. I love that. you, Matthew. <laughs> uh, all right. Wow. Sheesh. Good first round, right? And now it's time to raise the curtains. So production, you guys do your thing. Anybody got a choof? <laughs> but let him bow first this on yeah, the other side. Ladies, how are you feeling? Good. Good. I know you've been standing for a while, but we're ready for round two. I was the lady in the Crocs if she boxes. <laughs> Brandon, what the fuck did I just say? But I think she will box for you at Dingo's, but <laughs> he's like just having too much fun upstairs. <laughs> like, they're just leaving me stranded out here. Oh my god. Well, guys, we're here for round two, so let's get it. Wow. Like the pants? Really nice pants. The Crocs lady is definitely rocking those jeans. What are your biggest icks? All right, so guys, what are your biggest icks? Okay, biggest ick, I would say, is someone who pretends to know a lot about nothing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> ah, Dean, it's over for you, what's it? Say that shit sounds exactly like me. <laughs> it's exactly like me, yeah. So, so there we go, I'm your biggest dick. Okay, fine, fair enough. Okay, number two. I don't like dirty feet. Dirty feet? Yeah. I didn't wash my toes last night, it's fine. I wash my toes sometimes, but I mean, just not last night, but hey, you know what it is. All right, number three. Chim bros. Chim bros. say, no, like when they walk, they walk like they have these huge lats. Like, close your arms, boy. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell her while when you came through the garage door, I had to turn to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, like, the, maybe it's not gonna work out. When I walked into the door, I had to turn sideways, so... You, just, <laughs> you never oh, know. Yeah, like then. <laughs> but it's okay. I've got a good personality. Number four. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm surprised you got this one. <laughs> when a person is rude about another person to impress you, Okay, fair enough. You come ask okay, you're gonna ask them the next question is what's their ideal date? What is your guys' ideal date? Starting with number one. <laughs> That's generally where you start. <laughs> <laughs> ideal date. Um, I really like walking. So anything that involves being outside, long distance walking and coffee. Potentially my dog being with. It's like playing games inside <laughs> <laughs> I like playing games inside a room. But uh, number two. A sunset picnic. A sunset picnic, wow. That's romantic, that's cute. I like that, I'm also a little bit of a romantic myself. I like that stuff. Number three. I like a coffee date, because if it goes well, you can go into lunch. If it doesn't go well, you drink your coffee and you go. Fair enough, fair enough. Do you expect a guy to pay? No, I don't think so. Oh, so you got shmoney, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. I would say a cocktail date. Cocktail date, <laughs> hey. How do you prefer double brandy and coke? How do you feel about brandy and coke? Is that a good cocktail for you? <laughs> <laughs> the Afrikaans culture has many cocktails that I do not appreciate. Okay, but brandy and coke, what's the answer on that? I do not it. appreciate it. <laughs> no brandy and coke? Wow. Thank you for the appreciate. next question, you're gonna do push-ups while you ask it. So ask them what their best turn-ons are. Fuck you guys. All right, <laughs> so. <sighs> just tell, just remind them that you're doing push-ups. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I'm doing the most massive push-ups right now. But while I'm doing these, you guys might as well tell me. What are your biggest turn on? <laughs> <laughs> what is a green flag for you guys? <laughs> if you have to say number one one more time, but we can... <laughs> number one, number one! <laughs> is it number, what is it? number one, what is your name again? Jenna. 
Okay, great, Jenna, can you hurry up? Because I'm kind of like out of fucking push-ups, yeah? <laughs> I don't know, hey? I'm looking for a green flag, a guy that can do push-ups and sounds like you're struggling. Really make him think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Number two, I've got like five left in me. Come on, guys, we can do this all together. We're all together. Yeah, okay, number two. Someone who really likes dogs. Someone who really likes what? Dogs. <laughs> dogs? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Dude, stop. Dude, stop. Number three. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, stop. Dude, stop, 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 stop. Someone who opens the car door or just a door for you. <sighs> Thank God. All right. Sorry, what was that again? <laughs> Someone who opens like your car door or just a door for you. Okay, yeah, great. That's that's a good quality. <sighs> Number four. Are you still doing push-ups? Uh, thank God not. <laughs> okay, no. I like someone who goes to animal shelters. Animal shelters. Well, oh. and do what with the animals? Take them home, what do you mean? <laughs> Take them home, yeah, I like that too. <laughs> Ask the girl that you tell her that you're a dog. Will she take you home? I'm a dog, so would you take me home? You're one of those deformed dogs, or? I mean, I hope not. I'll say at least would you adopt me if I came from the SPCA? Ugh, I enjoy special cases. Okay, nice. Would you take me home if I was found in the SPCA? Yes. Yeah, all right, so you'd like those. <laughs> that was an interesting round. That's it for round two. Thank you guys so much for your amazing answers. All of you ladies seem very lovely. I think we take out number one next. Number one. Number one. Okay, we're we thinking of taking out number one. Uh, yeah. No, guys, guys, I know what you're up to. I know what you're up to. I know what you're up to. Stop it. I would, it's our show, but kick out number one, but. <laughs> No, 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 Okay, okay, fair enough. Crocolot and Dinos. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> she didn't even know she was number one, but... <laughs> uh, okay, all right, so it's... Number one, but... <laughs> mm, oh, come on, guys. Okay, number one, I have unfortunately been delivered the news. Okay. It wasn't my decision, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, nice sorry. meeting yeah, you. Can I give you a hug? I can give you a hug. Thank you. Time, Dina. Aww. She's actually quite cute. Wow. Lovely. Bye -bye. Enjoy. Good luck. <sighs> well, guys, that was round number two. So now we're on to round number three. Let's get it. Okay, so you're going to obviously introduce now. Comment on their clothes, like pants on their clothes. Do you like it? Okay, well, guys, we're here for round three. Wow. Love the outfits. Love the outfits. Looking good. Ask them what their hobbies are. If I can ask, what is your guys' hobbies? I'm a hobbyist myself. <laughs> I do things. What do you guys do? <laughs> Number one. I like going on walks and swimming. <laughs> she really likes walking, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got this now. Yeah, okay, so I like it. Low maintenance. Let's just walk up the street, baby. <laughs> Number two. I like reading and swimming as well. Reading, nice. Tell, him that's, tell her that's cool, you can teach me how to read. <laughs> that's nice, yeah, maybe you can teach me how to read. <laughs> okay, sure. Number three. I like to read and I also crochet. You crochet, wow. Tell them, tell them what you like doing. I mean, I like drinking brandy and coke, <laughs> to be honest <laughs> with you, so I mean, Maybe we can do that while we walk. I know it, I know it, I know it gets you drunker faster that way. So maybe we can, maybe we can do that. Okay, so what you're gonna do, ask them one more question, they're gonna eliminate based on their outfit, okay? And then you, the choice is yours. These guys have put the power in my hand. So we're gonna rate you guys on outfits. But you're gonna have to be brutally honest. One to 10, starting with number one, go. Number one, where do you shop first of all? Um, like Mr. Price, picking by clothing, H&M. Okay, okay. So you're definitely a student or something, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. Number two, where do you shop? Uh, Mr. Price as well, uh, pick and pay clothing, mm -hmm. cotton on, mm -hmm. if there's a little bit mm -hmm. of a special. It's the ones, it's the ones. Number three. 
Uh, pick and pay clothing, H&M, and then if there's a sale, I'm a Woolies girly. Okay, Woolies. So you don't crochet your own sweatpants? No, it will look really bad then. I'm not a good crocheter, I crochet. I'm not good. Okay, nice. I buy my stuff from Timu, so it's a... Uh, <laughs> window shopping. Window shopping at Timu. <laughs> That's what we do, guys. If you guys know what Timu is, we're fucking window shopping, so I've got retarded ass fucking friends. But anyway. <laughs> okay, so rate them now. So what do you rate number one? Number one, I like it. It's smooth, it's easy. I rate it a seven. Give it a good solid seven. I'm not a big fan of All Stars, but you rock it. You rock it really well. Thank you. Watch what I'm gonna do, watch what I'm gonna do. Number two, I like, I like the flowers. I like the flowers, it's Thank interesting. You. And the belt, super sparkly. I give it a, I give it a nice. Dean, 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 I'm taking back the power. <laughs> give number 10, give number three a 10. <laughs> <laughs> number two, I give it a good solid seven. All right, I like it. I feel like you look hella confident in that. You look good, you look nice. Number three, wow. Solid 10 out of 10, fam. It's the Crocs. It's just because of the Crocs. It's the Crocs, It's baby. the Crocs, yo, oh my God. Tell her, tell her your Crocs have your name on it, bro. My Crocs have my name on it, so. How special, right? Wow, I feel like that picture interest. Crocs are special. Crocs are special, Crocs are special. So kick out number two, brother, unfortunately. <sighs> <laughs> you guys are killing me out here. You guys are killing me out here. Well, number two. I've been informed by the guys above, not Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> that you are unfortunately the one to go. Number one, that's number one, number one, you were <laughs> you, 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 you calm down there, all right? Hi. Hi. <laughs> give a hug, boys, go give a hug. Yeah, hello. Hi. Hi, she doesn't like you, boys. Look at how ugly you God damn, all right. I didn't do enough push ups. I didn't do enough push ups. That's the problem. And now, and then there were two. And then there were two. All right. Well, that was an interesting round. Super fun, super nice, super light. Well guys, that was the end of round three. We're on to the next one. Dean, don't you want to ask the both the Crocs if you can wear your Crocs? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back for round three. Hi, hello guys, hi. Wait, don't you I'll send them to rate you and then you rate them, okay? <laughs> Just shut up, please, god damn it. Now that we can see each other, hi, hello, wow, amazing. Got blue eyes, blue eyes too, right? I don't know, green, blue. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, I've been told you guys have to rate me. What would you say out of a one to 10? I have a rich brother, by the way. <laughs> Spin around and show them your bum. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, just <laughs> saying. Before I rate you, does your brother look like you? <laughs> and he's got a billion dollars. Yes. <laughs> I just got a million dollars. You might want to go for him, but I mean, I'm just a family disappointment, which is okay. <laughs> I'm going to give it a seven. Your shoes. Not it. I don't know. Not it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I can't say anything about shoes. <laughs> so, I'm going to give it a, just because you got some good tattoos, I'm gonna give you like a like a 6.5. 6.5, hey, this is a passing rate out here. Jeez, not like my matric finals. Jeez. Let's go, Jeans. Okay, so now you gotta rate them, boy, please. Okay, I've gotta rate you guys now, apparently. <laughs> wow. Based on your outfits and looks. Based on outfits, and I love the blue eyes. I'm a blue eye guy myself. We can have blue eye babies, so I love the blue eyes. Outfits, love the outfits. Especially love your Crocs. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys both. I mean, very similar vibes out here. I think maybe you guys, I'll give you a solid tens. Easy, easy, vibes, vibes. I'm nice out here, guys. Okay, Dean, we're gonna give you the power. You can propose to the girl you wanna take out on a date, okay? Go. Nervous. I want you guys to like me, okay? We're going on dates after this. And now this is, this is imperative to our future. This is very good for our future. I'm so glad I'm in this position. Wow, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel like the person that we're gonna go on a date with 
I love animals. And I've got two feet. We can walk. <laughs> <laughs> Long roads. Maybe go on some what might call a journey together. <laughs> Dude, just get on the knee, bro. Get on your knees, fam. <laughs> Number one. Would you go on a date with me, please? Oh. So we can get this over and done with. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Hey. Well done, Dee. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the Crocs. <laughs> it was the Crocs. It was the Crocs. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of The Chosen Ones. At least we found Dean the love of the laugh, of the love of his laugh. It wasn't the croc lady, I'm sorry, guys. But next time, maybe, you guys can walk off together into the sunlight. How uh, uh, you? Uh, sorry! I hope you like this content. Like and subscribe so that Carl can go on a date next time. See you soon, guys. I can go in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Fax, Fax, Siren single. Just put in the comments if you want to date.